What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, this one actually came out of left field for me. I don't know if you guys remember the game Despotism 3K. It was kind of like an idle game where you're an evil alien, like you're an evil robotic overlord and you've got to force humans to breed. You've got to force them to do like research. You've got to force them to generate energy and you've got to force them to do a bunch of other stuff like creating food and you can grind them up in a blender in order to feed them to the other humans. This is the next game from those developers. The previous game was blessed with amazing pixel art and was actually a really fun game. It was super ridiculously difficult to balance everything, but this is Despot's game. So apparently the Despot has gotten tired of breeding and feeding and grinding up humans, and so now he's made a dungeon that he's sending the humans into. It's a bit of an RPG, a party-based RPG. It's a little bit of an auto-battler, but I think you guys are really, really going to like it. It's got a rad soundtrack. The game is really fun. The pixel art is fantastic, so let's dive straight straight on in and take a look at this preview. All right, so here we are in the first room. We have five humans, five naked solitary humans that are gonna have to go down into the dungeon for us. Over here at the shop, we've got some loot. On the UI, you've got tokens up here. These allow you to buy gear and they allow you to buy mutations, which are in this menu right here. So the mutations are things like your swordsmen are stronger. Your swordsmen now heal themselves when they hit stuff. Your sorcerer's magic now bounces off of enemies and deals damage multiple times, stuff like that. And so you gotta play around with builds and kind of focus your party around certain strategies. Uh, we can re-roll these if we don't like them, but I'm gonna take Excalibur because that sounds rad as hell and we'll put that on that guy right there And so now he's got Excalibur which apparently he couldn't get the sword out of the stone But he could get the stone out of the ground and so he's just wielding it like a giant pole mace now uh, We've got a rabbit in a hat. I have no idea what that does I haven't seen it before and then we've got a wizard over here too So we'll take the wizard right there and then the rabbit in the hat there we go, he's now a magician, and apparently he's got the power of levitation. Uh, we can afford one more human, so we'll buy one more human, and then we click on the door to go to the next room, and hopefully we go as far as we possibly can. Uh, we can rearrange our party as we see fit, as we get into the room. It looks like there's going to be a bunch of enemies out here, but let's start the fight and see how it goes. Looks like it's a bunch of, like, radioactive skeletors. Actually, we pretty much flawless that room. You gotta love it. Now, at the end of the room, we're gonna get a bonus. We got money for the stuff that we killed, and this time around, they've given us some items. I think I'm gonna grab the boxing gloves, and then I think I'm gonna get two more humans. Let's get the boxing gloves on the front line, guys, right there. There we go. So we've got the boxing gloves. Perfect. Uh, we could re-roll it, but I don't have any money to buy anything anyways, so I don't much see the point. Let's go ahead and move up this way. At the top, you've got a synopsis of all the basic classes that we have. We have three naked guys, a swordsman, a wizard. It looks like we've also got caps on what we can equip as well. Uh, you come down here, and you come over here. I want the wizards protected. Yeah, like I need the wizards to be protected. There we go. Now go for it. Looks like we got some kind of Dr. Octopus thing that we're fighting. All right, we've got a mutation right here. Explosive attacks. Fighters use explosive projectiles that deal splash damage. So that has now been added to our mutation menu. Oh no, we actually got that. So we just get that for free. Okay. Uh, we also have rubber bullets, so our bullets will bounce multiple times hitting enemies. We've got thick skin over here, so newbies have 15% more armor or 15 more armor. Let's go ahead and do that because the newbies tend to die a lot. Uh, let's see. We'll go... There's a boss room right there. It looks like there's food inside of here. I want food. Let's go get some food. I feel like our arrangement is okay right now, and this fight doesn't seem that bad anyways. So I think we'll be okay as long as everybody survives. Alright, so we've got a food shop. We've got two food for two tokens, or we can get three food for three tokens. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. I don't know if it's gonna be, like, amazingly good for me or anything else like that. There we go. We'll just... Oh, it's one unit of food. Oh, I get it. Okay, well, let's get some more food then, just in case. Alright, so everybody's all fed up, but they haven't leveled yet? I'm a little bit worried about that. This is going to be a big fight right here. This is going to be a hell of a brawl. Hopefully we just kind of weave our... Oh, no, we lost a human! That was my most favorite human. I had named him Ned. Now I'm disappointed. Okay, so we can get another pair of boxing gloves. We can get the, care the cart full of toxins. All right, I think we need more frontline guys, so I'm going to grab the boxing gloves. And then I'm going to grab a couple of filler humans just to sort of absorb hits while the other ones level up and get stronger. So you take that right there. Apparently Elsa Cherenko has gotten almost a full level. Getting there. So they'll get stronger pretty soon. And now we only have a boss fight in front of us. Let's see how it goes. Dude, I'm digging this soundtrack right here. This soundtrack is full of bangers, dude. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll put these guys... 
take this entire line and pull them back over here. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't want my wizards in the front. Having my wizards in the front seems like a bad idea. There you go. Sock this fool up. Sock this fool up. Nice. That wasn't that bad of a butt. What is that? I don't, I don't know what that is, but I don't want to do it. Do we just go inside of it? Oh, yeah. The humans get inside the tube. They do little woos when they go inside the tubes. As the humans descend, a new monster appears. A huge red ball made of biomass with tentacle-like suction cups all over it that resemble a crown. The ball is slowly rolling towards the humans. Okay. Stand together and face the ball as a dense formation of shield swords and stale pretzels. Uh, stand as far as you can from each other. The ball rolls past, paying no attention to humans. Elsa was the only one with a small cough, but taking the right measures against this monster, you suffered no penalties. And some humans got their immunity bought up. Their healers get 30% bonus health. Oh, I don't have a healer, though. Weak, dude. Oh, there's a crossbow right there. That seems pretty cool. I'm going to get the crossbow, and I'm going to get that. There we go. So we've got a crossbow now. Let's put the crossbow on that guy. So he's now got a crossbow. I also think we should have a medic. So let's go ahead and we'll get a medic right there too. Where do we want to go to? It looks like this is a food room down here, but I don't have any money. So maybe we get to fight something first. It does indeed look like we get to fight something first. So let me get my melee fighters out front. It'd be nice. One thing that I would suggest, just playing this early access version, is that there should be a list of formations. So, like, I should be able to move these guys around into a right-facing formation and a left-forcing forming face, uh, formation. And then from there, I should be able to save it onto hot slots. And then you can just click that real fast, and they'll rearrange themselves. That's one of the things that FTL did very, very well to sort of, like, ease... Basically forgetting people's positions and where they go and stuff. It looks like these are going to be medium-sized monsters. Oh, I don't like that. Nope, I don't like that at all. I just lost one of my boxers, but that guy leveled up, so that's good. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to feed everybody, too. I'm bad at my job. All right, we'll buy some more food right there. I don't know what the penalties are for not feeding your humans, but I can only assume that it's bad. Uh, this formation should work. Let's go for it. I do not like those razor disc things. They worry me. It looks like the healer is actively healing people. It looks like he can only heal, like, one person at a time, though. My crossbowman has already hit another level, too. Um, I need humans right now, so I'm going to grab, like, a couple more humans. And it looks like we've got a cart full of secrets and a charmed ring. I'll take both of those. It does look like we get our gear back when people die, so that's at least a nice little boon. I don't know what the ring does. I don't know what the cart full of experiments does either, so we're just going to have to, like, watch and find out, I guess. All right, so my little humans are inside the room right now. Let me get my frontliners out here. But this might get a little ugly. I'm a little low on frontliners. But we do have a lot of ranged guys now, which is pretty cool. Like, the ranged guys do seem to be fairly effective. I don't get anything inside of here. Let me look at my mutations. I would like for my... Let's see here. Thick skin level 1. Let's go with... Oh, I don't have enough money, so I guess the price on stuff... I'll make my fighter a little bit stronger so that he regenerates every time he kills something. Yeah, that sounds okay. Uh, let's go to the food room, I guess. Does it tell me what the penalties are? One human needs one food. Hungry humans are bad fighters. Okay, but what does each of the little hash marks mean? So what I would like here is when you mouse over it, it should tell you like what the penalty is by how filled the bar is effectively with like a little diagram or something. Might be a little bit helpful. Uh, let's go ahead and get on into it, I guess. We're going to lose somebody here. I know it. Oh, we didn't. We didn't lose anybody. Nice. I'll take that. Okay. Let's get a couple of hamburgers there, and we'll feed everybody, and then I'll grab a little bit more food. Unfortunately, my guys are very, very hungry. Uh, my guys are beat the hell up right now. They are not looking great. Yeah, my frontliners are really kind of like carrying the torch right now. They're the only ones making sure this whole thing doesn't fold up and fall apart on me. Oh, there was another door to the left. Uh, let's go back this way. Oh, they get hungry by room that you go in. Gotcha. Okay, well, I just wasted a bunch of food. And now I feel bad about myself, but that's okay. Uh, it looks like big enemies here. Yeah, we just lost our boxer, unfortunately. We almost probably lost him, too. He had 9 HP. He's so close. 
Uh, I don't have anybody. I just need humans, dude. Yeah, give me, give me, give me some humans up in here. I need a few more humans. We'll get another ring and we'll get a shield. You take the shield. So apparently he's like a shield waller. Okay. We've got a boxer over here. So our front line's a little bit stronger than it otherwise would have been. But we've got a lot of magic users, so that seems to be working out okay. My general guess is what they're going to do in true auto battler fashion is they're going to make it so you get certain bonuses if you have like a certain combination of shooters, fighters, newbies, and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, I've, got a, I've got a sneaking suspicion that that's the way it's going to play out. Yeah, we could get some food at the food shop, but... Maybe I don't need to feed them quite as frequently as I'm feeding them. I don't know, dude. Like, I'm a human. I enjoy being fed. It can just be kind of hard to tell sometimes. Oh, there it goes. Now it's popping up. I haven't fed the humans in a while. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I guess I can take this little guy right here and I can just kind of feed him to the sacrificial pit if it means I can feed everybody I guess that's what I'll do ah oh, we finally lost our sword guy everybody else seems to be staying up though so that's okay uh, we've got some mutations over here that we can buy on into if we want to I'm out of food though so I don't know if it's wise to spend my money. Oh, these are free? Oh. Okay. Are you a tank? What are you? He's got to be a tank, right? Oh, so we unlock abilities. Gotcha. To activate this ability, you need one more human of this class with a different item. Ooh, okay. All right, makes sense. I kind of predicted that. I had a feeling that was what was going to happen. I don't know if I have any throwers right now. Do the throwers, do these guys get the 10? They don't look like throwers to me. Yeah, they don't look like, well, it sort of looks like, so like he's got 14 armor right there. Looks like he's getting 13 from there though, so I guess that's not how it works. Fair enough, fair enough, I don't have any throwers. Uh, yeah, let's just fight it. I don't see anything else going on. We might as well. Oh, my shieldy guy died. Oh, no. I liked that shieldy guy. Got some more items, and we have an opportunity for more humans. Uh, yeah, let's grab, like, maybe two more humans. We've got a sword right there. We've got another shield. What is that? Claws? That sounds pretty sick. I kind of want that. Let's get the claws. Yeah, so we'll throw a sword on you. I got to replenish this front line. This front line is looking kind of devastated right now. There we go. So he's got Wolverine claws now. Oh, apparently there's randomization of the items too. Like I can spend money to upgrade the shop as we go through and just dump extra money into it. I'll take a look. I got a feeling we're not going to make it to the end of the game this time around, but I do want to play around with the various systems that exist can't bear anymore. Don't you dare. One more push. Ah! Damn it. Another zombie bites the dust. Mm, yeah. What's going on here? Isn't it obvious? I was charging the battery, but the zombie part of the machine broke. There's a lab with T-virus samples on this level. Bring me one and I'll shower you in gifts. You want me to bring you a virus that turns people into bloodthirsty monsters to frighten a poor slave into producing power? I'll give you 25 tokens. So where'd you say that lab was? I've marked it on your map. I'll be waiting. All right. Well, apparently we're going to help the cause of treadmill-driven slavery, I guess. We're going to get hungry pretty soon, too. I got a feeling that maybe, just maybe, we're not going to have enough food to get this done. All right. Fight them. Worst case scenario is some of you die, and then I don't have to feed you as much food. My boxer leveled up right as he died, so I'm going to take a rough running guess and say that it seems to me as though um, leveling up does not restore all of your health. Oh yeah, it did make it a lot better. A Zanussi fridge. What is that right there? Panzer poo? Okay, I, I do like the idea of the ninja star. I need a human to replace my swordsman.
Oh, apparently I'm learning class combos. There we go. So now, there's a blue dot next to the fencer's class icon. It indicates that they have improved their class ability level. Two out of three means we have two different humans in the fencer class, and we need three to unlock the next ability level. Okay, so he's got critical hit level one. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, ability level only increases when you collect different items of the same class. Why? Because we said so. Now, shoo. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I want to get the 25 tokens, but, like, we're almost out of food. So this is not going to get any better as time goes along. I've noticed that you're not using human placement. Let me, yeah, I know how to, I know how to place the humans. I'm aware of it. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm aware of how it works. Like, I functionally know how it works. Like, I'm not that worried about it. If we don't lose anybody here, it'll be a freaking miracle. I was going to say, like, somebody's going to get lasered to death. The thing has a death laser, dude. What am I supposed to do against that kind of avarice, vengeance, and hate? All right, everybody down the pipe. I know I could do the 25 token thing, but we're out of food, and I want to go as far as I can. A winding corridor suddenly spits you out in a cozy bar. The barman tidies his hipster man bun and speaks. It's been a while since we've had a customer, even longer since we've had decent ingredients, so I'm using what's left. Sure, drink it. Anastasia drinks it first and immediately pukes. If there was something special in the drink, her body rejected it. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, we can deploy people like anywhere. I didn't realize there was a green box around there. I didn't even notice that till right now. Uh, we can get a lightsaber? Dude, that sounds so sick. I want it. Yeah, we have to get a lightsaber. Like, we have to. And, like, that's my third fencer right there. What is that right there? It's a pitchfork? So that's going to give us... What class does the pitchfork? So what are these? These are eggheads, cultists, fighters, healers, mages, shooters. So I don't have any throwers yet. Like, I haven't even seen any throwers, and I took that bonus. Okay. Uh, we could probably use another medic. So, like, I would move the medic up and maybe put him, like, right there just to, you know, just to make us heal a little better. We can get another human right there. I can't afford the pitchfork, unfortunately, but I can get the cart full of toxins. So that takes them up to level two. If we get one more level, we'll have the emitter. Yeah, I'll probably just sit him behind this other guy, too. We're throwing lightning and we're throwing boogers now, so we're in good shape. Lightning boogers. Yeah, this feels okay to me. Go for it. I think one of them died. I think two of them died. Three of them died. Apparently that big guy in the middle was pretty tough. We've got like these rusty little Daleks over here just like wrecking us. That definitely cleared out my party. All right, well, let's put the dropped items back on the new people. So there we go. Uh, you guys come up here and be in the front. What is that thing? Dr. Octopus's claws and a turret. Dude, we gotta try the turret. We have to. It sounds too awesome. Like, I have to have this. Nice. He's a Team Fortress 2 engineer. I like it. I like it. All right, so that's pretty much all we can afford for right now. Uh, if I don't find food soon, we're gonna have a really bad time. So I'm gonna try to find some food over here and feed everybody. There you go. You kill those dudes. I believe in you. Oh, we lost one of our medics, too. I didn't even realize. Yeah, definitely heal your... Aw, oh, he died. Weak. Well, it looks to me as though the range guys tend to be stronger. 11 food for 10 tokens. Pretty much all that I can afford for right now, so eat on up, everybody. Um, I've got an extra lightsaber, but I think it goes away if I swap rooms. Does it? Oh, no, we hold on to it. Okay. Oh, this does not appear to be good. Yeah, that man's going to get eight. I was going to say, there's no way he walks that off. I definitely need more healers and stuff. I mean, we did it. It seems like the range classes definitely are stronger than the melee classes. Uh, cultist attacks deal more damage. We've got fast reload. All ability cooldowns are faster. Mages return damage back to attackers. Let's do that one because we have a lot of mages right now. Like, I feel like we have quite a lot of eggheads and mages. Like, I'm just trying to find what benefits us the most. 
but I think this might be near the end of our journey. But then again, I went almost an entire episode without dying, so that's pretty cool. That thing is going to smash our faces off. Well, he survived. Barely. Uh, we do have an opportunity to get a few more humans here. All right, so give me two humans. We've got that. We've got a sword. So that gets our fencers back. We'll put them out front. We've got boxing gloves right there. I'll probably take those too, just to get like somebody in the front line to protect the mages and slow down the onslaught of enemies. Uh, I would love to have another med kit, but thus far they haven't given it to us. I'm going to go inside the boss door, and we're just going to see what we can do here. But I really actually like this game. This is pretty cool. Like, the pixel art is badass. Like, I really, really like it. Uh, yeah, move my... So, you guys come over here. You guys come right there. You guys go over there. And just kind of, like, stay away from whatever's going to happen here. Yeah, exactly. Like, that thing's got a machine gun. Like, I don't feel like there was any way... Oh, my God. Yeah, this boss seems to be stomping our guts out right now. He's got so much HP. Oh, he had 7,000 HP? Well, this is where it ends. Our experimentation into sending humans down into a dungeon for our own leisure and pleasure. Eh, it lasted longer than expected, but, you know, it killed 20 minutes. And I feel like when you're an overpowered, you know, AI hive mind, um, it makes sense. What is that right there? A harkabus? All right. Take the harkabus, the boxing gloves. Harkabus. Boxing gloves, re-roll it, uh, claws, what is that right there, a periodic table? How does that help me? I just, I don't see how that helps. I'll take it all though, whatever, we gotta get everybody equipped with something. Oh, he's a tank, I see how that helps now. Okay, Vera the Fat, unfortunately. It's kind of a unfortunate nickname, but you know what, that's life. Sometimes you get a nickname you don't particularly love. All right, just one big enemy in here. I was hoping the table would get over there first, but the table did not get over there first. Fast reload. So that's a nice little bonus. We'll take that. Next room. Maybe I should put the table way out in front. I think I should put him a little further out front. Yeah, there's... Oh, there's the box. I see the box. Okay, so put the table out front, and then you guys, like, get in, like, kind of behind him, I guess. Put you over there, put you over there, put you right there. All right, that seems okay to me. I was going to say, because the table moves really, really slowly, but the table's got to have, like, way more HP than everybody else. That does appear to be the truth. All right, so we've got a med kit right there. I definitely want the med kit. We've got a pretzel. What does the pretzel do? Is the pretzel a weapon? Hold on, i got to try this out. What does the pretzel do? Apparently, he's just a pretzel warrior. That's it. He's just a pretzel fighter. Okay. I respect it. I respect it. Uh, let's maybe... Is there a food room around here anywhere? Yeah, I was going to say, let's go fight for the food room. I'm going to try to stock up on food early so that we don't run into the same problem we ran into last time where we just don't have any food for anybody. Yeah, I want you guys to like be back a little further because it takes the table a minute to get there. Ah, we still lost a guy. So there's no way for us to really, like, force targeting the way that I want to. Uh, we'll buy the food, though. So we've got a lot of food now, so that's good. We'll go up this way and see if this room leads anywhere. I think our layout is pretty solid for right now. Mm, yeah. Do I have any more newbies around? I don't have any more newbies. Okay. So either I can equip this guy, let's do that. We'll equip one of them, and then we'll just have another one be naked. So we'll go ahead and put him in the row right there, and we'll put him right there. All right, pretzel fighter's looking good. Everything's looking solid. Let's go ahead, and we'll tackle the boss real fast. It's kind of a messed up layout. Uh, you go over here. Alright, that's the way it's going to have to go. Oh, it's just skeletons. We're okay. It's just skeletons. We should be alright. And I guess I don't really get anything for that fight, except for passage to the next level. Hopefully we get a good event. But yeah, this is Despot's game. 
My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. The developers graciously sent this game over because I covered Despotism 3K when it came out and really, really liked it. And so they gave this to me and sent it over. I was like, hey, show it to people. And so here I am. Uh, tomorrow I'll have something hot and fresh off the indie skillet for you. Until then, uh, get some rest, some relaxation. Rough year for everybody. And that's all I got. Bye, everybody.